Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a thank you to the person who sent me this beautiful book. I had it in my wish list after I saw Shannon um, do a flip through of it and I thought it was a very, very pretty book and I just kind of fell in love with it. <laughs> so I want to thank you so much for sending it to me. Really appreciate it. You're so kind. And for supporting me and showing me how, how, how pretty this is. I'm going to show you um, next to Magical Dawn how the size is. Okay, so it's a little shorter this way. We'll just stick it on top of the Magical Dawn book and then you can see it, it's a smaller size book, which is kind of nice, especially when you get on in the inside and see how pretty it is. It is posh coloring book inspired by nature by Marjolaine Baston. And this is the back of the book here. And on the inside of the back, that is the uh, publisher down here in the corner. It has a little blib back here. Also an attention to schools and businesses that you can buy this book in bulk. So I'm assuming that this might also possibly be a educational tool which is what I'm going to use it for <laughs> so we'll get into the book uh, it's a kind of a soft cover the corners are all rounded off and it kind of reminds me of a field book for watercoloring out in nature itself so it has that kind of look that you would take your field notebook out and um, do your urban sketching or urban watercoloring and or nature coloring. So we already on the bat have that going for us. We have, like I said, soft cover, title sheet here, and then you get into the book. The paper is a thinner paper. Um, some people are bugged if they do watercolor and it crinkles the paper on the other side, but I get that nice crackly sound I think is adorable. Love it. So we get into the book. This is sewn, I believe, together in signatures. So you have little signatures. You could take this apart if you wanted to by just snipping these little threads. And um, they come apart pretty easy. Signatures are just sewn into the book. They're probably glued on the outside, but because it's done this way, you can snip it apart if you wanted to. You could punch holes in here and you could uh, photocopy this portion if you wanted to. The one thing you're going to notice is you have the beautiful page over on this side. This is the reference page and this is your page to do this onto. These are done in a lighter unblack line. So you'll have some that are pink, some that are green, some that are blue and when you're using your um, colors on these it helps you guide wise but doesn't give you all the little details you are to um, look at the details on this side and put them on this side i'm going to be using pencil in here probably um, probably some water mediums but like i said the paper is thin if you want you can like i said uh, take it over to your printer print this page off on a watercolor surface or a multi-medium surface if you want i'm going to play in it as is because I think it'll be cool all done. It does lay flat which is another nice thing. You'll get your reference and your pretty page over here. And these pages are absolutely gorgeous. I think I've had a lot of fun in this book. Here's your stitch line right down the center and each one of these um, signatures there's uh, quite a few of them in here you can pull out if you wish. Easter, isn't that cute? I like how they did their um, color schemes on this side also. So some cardinals here. Mushrooms. I like how that page is done. And then like a little bucket full of the spring flower cuttings. Some irises here. That'll be really pretty done. I mean, all of this is gorgeous. So I'm just going to do a flip through of this 
Oh, that's going to be fun, too. All of this is just... She was doing a flip through, and I was like, I like all those pages. <laughs> so I wanted to do them all. There's quite a few in here, like I said. I think there are... I'm going to say hundreds. It's, like I said, thin paper. It's going to take a while to get through. And you just want to keep bending that down. And it'll always lay flat for you. Oh, that's cute. I should say pretty. You don't have to um, do it exactly like this. It's just... I'm going to try. Oh, that's cute. So paint brushes on the house. Uh, the bird feeder. Little mousy. Watering can. Birds chowing down on some berries of some kind. Uh, even some chickens and roosters. A little ladybug on there. Oh, a squirrel. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Another bird feeder. Woodpeckers. Uh, I don't like woodpeckers. We've got a lot of woodpeckers over here. <laughs> got a lot of trees that I like to peck on too, but they do tend to want to peck on your house. I don't like that part. And I don't know what that little guy is called. I'd have to look him up. Chipmunk. And some chickadee type birds here on a fall. That's really cute. I guess he's framing these. Little bunny. Some seashells. think we're halfway through yet. <laughs> oh, that's pretty beach scene. A little broken pottery there. Oh, that's cool with the background up here and then a nice square. So yeah, watercolor probably. This is an educational tool for watercolors. Little squirrel. Oh, I love that page. During the day and then during night. Ah, oh, the bunny. Cute, cute, cute. I think that's it. Oh, that's pretty. I know there's another page here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> another seashell. More woodpeckers. <laughs> Some parrots. We don't have parrots in the wild around here. We just have the little birds. Well, they have big birds, but they're not parrots. Oh, <laughs> little otters. That's a cute page. Bird has a 
Hello. Squirrel feeder. <laughs> Lemons and nuts. And there we go, to the end of the book. So yeah, one awesome book. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through and I will see you in another video. Take care everyone. Bye now.